Hi guys, Chris here from Heed the Ball Gaming and welcome back to episode 31 of Project Bundesliga. This is the end of season special and it's also the Christmas Day special so Merry Christmas everyone and uh, Happy Holidays and uh, if you don't believe in Christmas just have a great day. So nothing much Christmassy about it. Look at Monday we're playing, they're playing in red. Santa colours, we're playing in white. Santa colours, there we go, we're going to be Santa closing it up, but yeah, we're in a strange situation today. We have everybody else has played their final game of the season. So if I just bring up the the competitions, I've never seen this before. But our game got suspended uh, just because of a waterlogged pitch. So we're sitting in six. Um, we're definitely going to finish six or higher. If we win today, we'll go fifth. But Rockstock 2 are sitting there waiting on our result. Uker Monday are in the relegation zone. If they win today, they will avoid relegation. And the Ludwig's field will be relegated. This is just confusion. So, unfortunately our friends Croatia and Berlin are getting relegated. So, we might steal some of their players because that's what we, we do. So yeah, this is an odd situation. So we just go to the team selection. Um, Stratton is injured, uh, suspended, sorry. So we'll take him out and we'll put in. I don't think it really matters, does it? Cortegan and Kylar in for Castrati. We'll get Castrati on the bench for. We're going to give Bindrami the last the last match because I think that might be the last time we see him. So this is a fit and farewell. I will put Yuzadowski on because him and for Beckers. And yeah, I think today's the... I don't think we're going to see much changes. A lot of these players will still be here. I want to keep the back four just where uh, Goparix is a young stud. But... Um, if we can get in um, Jaeger a uh, fit, we'll keep it back for him. Bargo will stay, even if he's maybe just second choice. We we'll want to bring in a, a centre back, but a, a really quality one to complement all the other guys. Midfield, I think it's probably the last dance for Quarteg. He just does my head in. I think we'll just change these two over. And uh, Boltees is going back to. Tennis Berlin, so I'd imagine he's too expensive for us. Yuzadowski is here for next season, as is Amrel. And they're the two key players, really. And uh, Benjami, this is just a final farewell. He's hardly played this season, so let's go for it. It'll be a sad day to see the, the end of Benjami. My favourite person who can run fast. But he really did make a difference that first season. Um, shouldn't be winning. I think we're going to lose today. Come on, show me what you can do. I think we can Monday need to win more than what we do. There we go. A little handshake at the start. Me and my Swiss grey suit. So yeah, when Drami really did make a big difference that first season. His pace is just was so so crucial in the in the Berlin Liga and yeah we, we scraped over the line there but you know we we started pretty poorly in the in the Berlin Liga but we did did fairly well this season it's just been a bit frustrating um, it was the opposite of last season last season in our first season of Cortex injured so I don't really care he is a absolute bomb scare what I'll do is I change these two over. Yeah, last season we we started off really, really bad in our first season in the North East North. And we, we got into a game and we managed to defend and, and scrape results and, and finish. Oh, there we go, use a does he take a shot? He does. So, and then this season 
we started off really, really well. And then other clubs started to figure out how to play against us. And yeah, it ended. And we've ended really, really good. Oh, look at Monday. No, it's a goal kick. Must be an offside. I don't think a draw is enough for them. I'll have a wee check in a, in a minute. Fisher. Oh, that was a world class save if I've ever seen one. Well, it wasn't as a goal kick, so it just looks like a save. Sometimes it's the, the angles deceiving, and the, depending on who you're seeing it from. So, yeah. This season, we, we, it's just that dip in the middle where we couldn't win to save ourselves. Otherwise, we'd be up there challenging. Poor Teg injured. As I say, I'm not upset. I want to have a look at the... See what it says. Deer Park. Let's just go to the... This is making finance yeah, fantastic. There we go, that's what I was looking for. So yes, a point's not enough for them. Team talk. It'd be a better team, just keep going. Alright. So yeah, so it's really been really, really frustrating. That dip in the middle where we were just losing to teams we should have been beating. Because we've got a cracking squad here. But I'm a bit worried that this might be the next season, might be the last season we have some of these guys. Amrel doesn't want to talk about a contract. Yuzadowski's just getting frustrated because he's realising everybody around about him just isn't quite as good as him. And will we take, will we take Brindrami off, give him the round of applause he deserves? Cairn, no, Akko Medon, I think. Let's go for it. Farewell to a legend. Oh, and I'm real. Akomed. Yuzadowski. Oh, stunning. And considering Yuzadowski has been playing in a rubbish formation and now he's playing as a winger, 14 goals is a great return. Dowski is and shouts, get creative. We like that one. Let's tell them. Fisher, for me, has been the signing of the season. I feel a bit sad that Ukarmundi is going down. Unless he can score two goals. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, a final sub. I'm just contemplating who that's going to be. We get Morak one last game. Just to rub salt in their wounds that we're going to be bringing on. I'd like Boltes to finish it because this is his last game. Fisher. He's going to be here next season. Going to make sure of that. And Morak's going to come on. Just to rub salt into the wounds. We're going down and we're playing. Oh, he nearly scored in his last... Just after slagging him off. <laughs> and Mitchellfield. Morak. He can create... He can really ping a free kick in. Goberich, who's playing really well at right back. He says he's not right back. And... That was the oddest save I've ever seen. He dived after he saved it. And too little, too late, surely. And I'm rail away. It's offside anyway. Absolutely fantastic. Finished fifth. That's an improvement over the eighth we finished last season. We're going to finish first next season. And there we go. Look at Monday. Go down. It's our final day relegation because we're only ones playing. They must have been like a beer on death row, knowing they had the, the mighty Tasmania Berlin who were playing like 
Barcelona. Quad takes out 78 weeks. I think this might be his. I mean, it has been his farewell match. He does my head in, to be honest. Quad take. And yeah, there we go. So we'll just look at the competitions just to confirm. Babelsberg won. Uh, Berlin retook the lead in the, uh, in the division, but they drew the last game of the season. But look how close that is. That's three teams. You go up in goal difference. So that's that's unbelievably close. And look how Monday, Croatia, Berlin and Grief go down. And we're fifth. So, you know, as you can see, we're not that far off. We, we cut the deficit to, to 12 points. So that's fairly good. What we'll do is I'll just keep going forward and we'll see who the player of the season is and everything. I think Amrel might be the player of the season. If not, it'll be Yuzadowski. So the UK Monday manager has stormed out of a press conference when they asked about no contracts, you're gonna st eh, no contract, you're gonna stay and lead the fight. No, I don't think he is if he's storming out of press conferences. And he blamed the pitch for things not going on in his side's way. I think I think we were just better than them. Yeah, I think we cope fine. Right, so here we are back with the end of season awards. And yeah, so here we go with my reply. We, we cope fine with the, with the pitch. It's our pitch, so we, we know what we're doing. Um, who's into the best 11? Oh, Embargo replaces Seagun. I'm a bit upset about that. I'd like Seagun to, to have stayed, but he's gone now. He's retired. And yeah, so that's it. Just having a wee look. So the start of eleven, Miyungu had a great season the first season we were here. Castrati, who is a great young player, had a great season the last season playing in defence. Started the season off pretty well. Kylar, missed the consistency. And Jaeger is in the team now. He's 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 a cracking signing. Scroter, I'm surprised that Scroter's in. He's not played much, but I fell out with him and he, he just never has played. But he obviously played reasonably well. Stretton, just he's turning into a beast of a player. Neuendorf, remember him? He's uh, Adrian Neuendorf, defensive midfielder from our first season and half of last season. Amrel, just I think he's going to be in there for a the long term. And he uh, used a dice game, Bindrami, who we said our farewell, our farewell to in that match. End of season awards. Amrel win it. I thought I knew Henrik Amrel would win that. He's he's just turning into a great player. And uh, Daniel Jadorowski coming second. He's not far off to be honest. And Kyla is a good bit off the other two. Goal of the season. Rico Schroeder. Signing of the season. Marco Dickrecht is free. Well, he wasn't free because he's through our youth academy. Well, I didn't know. Did I sign him? Wow. I honestly thought he was through our youth academy. That was a that was a cracking signing if it if it was. Yeah, well done me. Rico Schroeder. Let's have a wee look at this goal. Oh, where did it go? Yeah. These goals are never as good as you you see better ones and it's where we're playing the four four two, so the board criticised us for it. Scrooder, he's going to hit it from there. If he hits it from there, that's a cracking goal. He doesn't, but he's, oh, he's in a... That's not a bad goal. That's a good goal. Maybe I should start talking to him again. So let's have a look. Season review. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. We struggled to find our best form at times, but we had an enjoyable campaign. So the match this season was a 3-0 win against Gothenburg and that was yeah that was the start of the season so and a moment to forget we lost 2-0 to neutralize they finished joint first so I don't know what that's all about players used 30 so yeah joint second highest in the northeast north and average attendance only 12% full so we've got a 3,000 seater stadium so there's, there's room to to develop the club higher, squad dynamics, and Barg has become a highly influential player. 
probably end of team meeting. What are we going to say for next season? I, I do not know. Um, a bit worried <laughs> with what I should say. Um, I think we can finish top half. Yeah, I think top half's fair enough. Oh, a bit more ambition. Oh. Right, top end of the week. Okay, cool, cool. Um, this is exactly what I was after. Right. Well, that's fair enough. In the season review. I'm not going to complain about that because we're going to win it next season. And the major highlights was the 3 2 win over Adelsdorf, just that we played really well. And I'm particularly concerned while using the 4 4 2 formation. So was I. So was I. But yeah, we're doing fairly well. Alright, that's the bone stuff. Right, so I know you guys like to see this bit. The league table for Spanish first division. Real Madrid won it. Atletico Madrid second. And Barcelona way down in third. And relegated Valvecino, Garona, and Lugo. I don't even know who Lugo are. They look like a, a team that's maybe really languishing in the, in the lower reaches. So fair play to them. English Premier League. Man United, Liverpool. Man United won it. Liverpool second. Arsenal third. Man City all the way in Chelsea fifth and sixth. And relegated Leicester, Southampton and Leeds. And the... Bundesliga, playoffs still happening, Bayern Munich won, as they always do, Dortmund second, Leipzig third, and relegated Fortuna, Dusseldorf, Klon, and Horsten Kiel, who I think haven't spent much time in the Bundesliga, and Wait, Ladbrokes Premiership. Would you like to see if somebody's beat Celtic? And they haven't. No, Celtic win again. Rangers second. And uh, Hamilton are relegated. Livingston are in the playoff, but they're losing to air. And yeah. Let's have a wee look at the. Champions League, the finals Arsenal and Paris Saint Germain. I take it Paris Saint Germain will have won the when they did, I think. They'll have won the French League. Yeah, by a canter. Alright, well, thanks very much for watching our just triennial review in the next couple of days. I'll try and set up the next um, season on Boxing Day. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Subscribe and have a great Christmas. Bye-bye.